Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Lawrence Philip, aka DJ Random. So, today we're gonna try to recreate a future house baseline that is kind of similar to the baseline that you hear in Oliver Heldon and Tiesto's track, Womb Bass. So, if you're wondering what this particular baseline sounds like, it's something like this. So that's the sound that we're going to try to recreate. So let's just get started by initializing this reset. So in Future House, most of the bass line have some kind of modulation in there. Usually it's either a frequency modulation or bass modulation that's going on in there. So let's just try to recreate that and we're going to be kind of guessing on how to do it. Okay. So let's start with just a basic saw wave. In this particular one, we already have one. And let's just make this into a, a seven voice unison. And then let's bring it down a little bit. So let's just listen to what we have so far. So basically what we have now is just a detune saw wave. And then the next thing that we're going to do is, so let's just turn this on. And then next we go to menu, copy oscillator A to B. So we have the same exact one, but instead now we're going to move it up one octave above. And let's, adjust this slightly and then let's see what we have so far for now okay so now let's switch this on to fm from b and then let's bring it up around here See, that's without the oscillator B. Listen to it. And when we turn it on. And if we turn off the, the FM. So we have something that's quite interesting. So now let's bring this to the filter. Let's turn on the filter. It's this MG low 12 is fine. Let's bring it all the way down. And then let's put an envelope filter in here. Let's use this one. We're going to go something along this line. And then maybe let's go like this. And let's assign this. So we already have something that's quite interesting, almost. Let's assign this to this resonance, bring it down. So that's pretty much we have like a nice FM modulated saw wave and then let's try to make this a little bit more interesting by changing around this wave table I'm gonna go with analog and let's go with the basic shape and let's try how that sounds So I kind of like this triangle one or this sign one is fine too. But let's make things more interesting by modulating these shapes. So let's go with sync. And then let's go with something along this line maybe. I mean, we're just going to try this out. We can try all this a different wave table. Mm -hmm. 
I think that's pretty much it from the serum part. Maybe we can add a little bit of an effect. So let's add a little bit of distortion maybe. Set as a compressor, maybe. And then let's add some reverb. We can use a dimension expander here. Let's try it like this. But there is this one free plugins that I find. This one is coming from Extra Records, and this one's called Dimension Expander. And this one's modeled after Massive's Dimension Expander, which is kind of like one of my favorites. So let's try that one instead of the Dimension Expander from Serum. So let's just turn this on. I like how the way that sounds, so let's stick with that. And let's try to listen to this with the bass and the drum. Well, perhaps now that we add that bass, maybe we should add a little EQ on here. Let's move this before the compressor. Let's do a little bit of a low cut. Something, something along this line should be okay. Let's try this. So let's try the bass now and the beat. See how that sounds. So I think that sounds pretty good and what we can do next is between this serum and the other bass which is just a sine wave that I put underneath playing the same note. So let's group that and then we can just uh, use a glue compressor if you're using uh, Ableton Live. So that's pretty much it, future house baseline. If you like this tutorial, please give me a thumbs up. And if you find this to be helpful, please subscribe to my channel. If you have any requests for any particular sound that you want me to make a tutorial of, please fair it up in the comment down below. And thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one, guys.